Hey friends, I'm just hopping on here real quick to do this mask Monday. Y'all, I did my roots this morning and I think the smell of the dye made me a little nauseated, but we're gonna push through this. I don't have that much to talk about and we're gonna get through it. Um, I'm wearing this mask from Dollar Tree Be Pure Orange Soda Pop. This one is very, very saturated and fits a little bit weird. It's like it wants to block my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me get right on into the stuff. Guys, this is not Dollar Tree or um, Timu, but I just wanted to let you know, this cake um, curling or, you know, mousse made for curls is very expensive and it's not good at all. What happened was about um, six months ago, I this was on sale, plus I had some CVS extra bucks. So I bought it thinking it would be good because of the price, it wasn't. It weighed my, I used it up in combination with other mousses and products, but it weighed my curls down. The best kind of um, mousse for wavy and curly hair is the lightweight foamy ones. The ones that I had bought from Timu were better than this and a fraction of the price. Okay, woo, this thing is so damp and oddly fitting. Okay, next guys, I'm having to keep drying my hands off. Um. I wanted to brag about this little inexpensive, not a dupe of anything that I know of, blush that I got from Timu. It is just such a pretty color, and it is so highly pigmented, guys. Let me just use my pinky. I mean, this is pigmented, and it looks beautiful on the skin. I just love this little blush. I'm going to try to find it and link it. I believe I've seen it recently still on the site. So I'm going to find it and link it. This is one of the cheapest blushes I've ever brought, bought on Timu. And it's absolutely one of the best. It's just a beautiful, perfect, everyday coral color. Okay. And speaking of blush... Guys, I have some complaints about this one. This is beautifully packaged. It's Mafic, Mafic. It has a mirror. I never took the film off of it. But um, this is the most gorgeous cranberry with a hint of copper. I mean, it is a stunning color. Look at that. See, in comparison to a straight up corally pink, you can see the difference. This is more of like a deep cranberry with copper. And this is a beautiful fall blush. My complaint with this is that you can see how much I have like pushed my brush into this trying to pick up product. It will not pick up on a brush. And this is a powder. I mean, this is not a cream. This is a powder. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how pretty it is. But yeah, I just can't get it to pick up on a brush. And it doesn't, I tried picking it up with my finger and just like making a stripe on my face and then trying to blend it out. And that didn't really work either. The, the only thing I haven't tried yet to make this work is using it with a just a barely damp sponge and maybe trying to pounce it on. Before I trash this, because it is so pretty, and this, I mean, for Timu, this was one of the pricier blushes that I bought, and it's supposed to be a dupe for something. And I think at the time I showed it in my haul, I said what it was, but now I can't remember to save my life. Maybe, um, I'm trying to think of some of the British high-end brands. I'm thinking it's one of them. It, it's just escaping me, but it's, it's very pretty. It, it feels nice. It's not weighty, but it just feels nice. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? Substantial. Yeah, it feels like a, a high quality blush. So yeah. Um, if you buy this, just beware that you're probably going to have to, you know, play around with techniques to wear it. And I am going to try it with a sponge. I don't know why I didn't try it before now. I guess I just didn't think of it, but duh. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll get back to you with whether I made it work out or not. Okay, and speaking of blushes, this little blush here, this Gigi Rose, this is also still on the side. I've seen it. Um, it's funny the things that they quickly discontinue and then the things that they keep around. It's so odd. It seems like the more popular, high-quality things they make, they discontinue them faster. It's so strange. I don't know if it's to, um, you know, create like a, like a, uh, what's the word? Not mojo. What's that? You only live one, YOLO. It's to create YOLO. So people, you know, will grab it up before it, you know, gets gone. 
So, um, but I wish they would make some cosmetic products and have them be permanently on the site, just like all the other cosmetic brands do. Like if they have a, like most drugstore or high-end brands, either one, if they have a successful foundation or blush or eye palette, they make it permanent to their line so people can continue to buy it when they find out about it or if they pan it and want to buy it again. But um, I don't know about Timu. They, they need to do that. When they have super popular products, they need to like keep them on the site so we don't have to panic you know, and think we've got to buy backups when we don't really need to. But I've got so much makeup anyway. I've stopped with the backups, guys. I've just got too much to get through without even thinking about that. But um, I'm sorry I'm being so talky. But this blush here is a really pretty baby pink. As always, my camera is making it look orange, but it's a baby pink. And um, it's just not very pigmented. I have rubbed and rubbed and rubbed. And that's what I get. It's just not pigmented enough for me. I mean, I'm very fair and it's clearly made for fair people, but I just don't like to keep applying and keep applying and keep applying because I'm usually like in a hurry when I'm doing my makeup and I just want a blush that I can dip into it and it works and it's not an ordeal. So yeah, I'm not real happy with this. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got so many blushes to get through. I'm gonna file it. It was very cheap anyway. I'm pretty sure it was under $2. So yeah, I'm gonna file that one. This one I've used up. Um, this was a very dark and cool toned. I absolutely loved it and used the heck out of it. That's why I rolled through it so fast. But um, it's a contour and it came in a set with three other products like Timu frequently does. It came with the contour, the highlighter, and the little, this is like one of those, you know, Charlotte Tilbury or Elf dupes where you have the little puff and um, yeah, it came in a set of three items. I've already, I think, decluttered the blush. I may have decluttered the highlighter. I can't remember. I need to go look in my bathroom and my backup stuff. But, um, yeah, this was a really good, cool-toned contour that worked, you know, under the chin, you know, just on the forehead, It's just, which is very effective. It blended out beautifully. It looks dark and scary. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out. Yeah, it looks dark and scary, but it blends out so beautifully and easily and smoothly. I highly recommend it. Yeah, so I'm gonna trash this empty one. But yeah, once I get through some other contours and bronzers, I would definitely repurchase that, but I'm not in any need for any right now. So unless I see a dupe on the site, some new dupe that I can't live without, I'll probably you know try to back off of buying um, bronzers and contours for a little while. Okay, y'all, this is a very quick Mass Monday because, like I said, I'm a little nauseous. So, um, the last thing I have to talk about here is this Too, school, too Cool for School. Um, th these are still on the site as well. These come in uh, contour, blusher, and highlight. And what is this? This is the highlight. And uh, I've made kind of a mess out of it. It came striped, and as you can see, I've been in it making a mess. But, um... This is just really pretty. I just blend all of them together and just put them on and they make the most beautiful pale pink champagne-y highlight. Just really pretty. I highly recommend this. Um, I, you know, that I don't know if they sell the sets because there's three items in this little, um, in this little style and this little um, brand knockoff. But um, yeah, I will try to find this individual one and link it in the description box because this is a really nice highlight or it could even be a blush topper. Now, when you get old like me and have a lot of lines and crinkles under the eyes, you don't want to get your highlight too close up under the eye because they're usually shimmery or, or glittery and they will just accentuate every flaw you have. So you need to just carefully place them on the top of your blush and uh, or, or just go all over the top of your blush, you know, just completely go over the top like a topper. But yeah, just don't get them too high up to where they get in your eye area. I've done, I've made that mistake before and I went out in public. And then when I saw myself in the rear view mirror of my, rear view mirror of my car, I was like, oh my God, Karen, <laughs> you should have really looked at yourself before you walked out the door. Because yeah, they don't do you any favors. If you're old like me, now if you're young, you can put a highlighter wherever you want to and you know, no bones about it, but yeah. But it's really, really pretty. So I'll link this, this, 
and this in the description box. I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure they're all still on the site. And these are all high quality items. Just remember, you got to play with this a little bit. But yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I'm going to see you tomorrow in a fun collab I'm doing with Krusty Kristen. Um, she really deserves more subs than she has. She's really cute. She has these big, beautiful, like, blue saucer eyes. She's just so cute, so sweet. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be collabing with her, and I'll link her channel in my description box. That'll be coming tomorrow, and then I have a really fun Timu haul coming with some non-makeup dupes that I'll be doing um, Wednesday or Thursday. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one, and it'll be super soon. Have a great day. Bye.